all, Victoria here with my first Smuggler's Bounty unboxing video. And this is the Empire Strikes Back box and there is a bigger ball of loot. And um, sorry, I tried to get as little background um, as possible, so excuse the mess. Um, we're just going to kind of see how this goes. But I haven't looked in the box, I've only cut it open, so we're just going to see what's inside. So first we have the patch and the pin. Oh, it's really stuck on there. And this is the Lando pin. It's really cool looking. Let me see if I can get it without a glare. The light that I have. There it is. And then we have a Yoda patch, which is also really awesome. It's that. Um, my brother did tell me that the pop is like the first thing. And, you know... Obviously, we already know what that looks like. I'm so excited to see it in person. And then it's a little card. Ooh. Oh my god, it is big. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. Oh my god. I love it. Oh my god. Okay. Um, here, it's kind of hard to... So this is the box, and as you can see, it's pretty, like, wide as well. I mean, like, it, it's just all around big. Um, let me see if I can move that. Oh, it's so cute. Um, I'm not going to be taking it out, but um, here is how it looks. And I also would like to mention that I think it's cool that they put it in plastic. Um, to keep it from moving around in addition um, obviously that's good for shipping but I think if you are someone who collects them and leaves them in the box that's also nice because you don't have to worry about the pop itself um, sit shifting or falling or anything like that so as you can see it has plastic around the Han and the Tauntaun and yeah I'm trying to get without a glare oh my gosh there we go ish yeah that's kind of good so that's that. That's exciting. And if you want to compare, let's buy here. Here's a gin pop to compare, like the size difference in boxes. It's like enormous. Oh my gosh! Look at that. That's so cool. I'm so excited. I don't even know where I'm gonna put him, but I'm so excited to get it. And then. Oh, that's cool. So we have some socks. And so they just have Stormtroopers and Vader, and they're just black. Those are nice. And then, oh, oh my god, the Wampa plushie. I'm, I love this. I don't care what anyone says I I'm really excited about this he's gonna sit next to my um plush fabrications blanket on my bed it's so cute and he's so soft like it's crazy how soft this is um but yeah that is everything in the box um it is a little disappointing to not get a shirt I think the sock idea is cool but I I mean I like these socks don't get me wrong but I think they also could have done something a little bit cooler or more Empire. Um, or they could have done more um, General Empire um, Strikes Back stuff since, you know, two of these items are Hoth themed. Um, but you do get the Yoda patch, which is really cool. And the Lando pin is cool as well. And although, um, personally, I think the pop itself, just that alone is worth um, what you're spending on the box, um, so everything else is like a awesome bonus to me, but um, I can see where people are complaining about not getting a shirt. Um, like I said, socks are cool, but you know, shirts are cool too, um, but maybe, you know, they'll do some other interesting designs with the socks, and that would be something to see in the future. That would be cool. Um, I, I do like the plushies. I know people are like complaining about that, but I see you know, because we're already getting a huge, um, kind of like a deluxe pop 
if you will. Um, so I can see only getting one and then getting a plushie. I think, again, that it's a good value. And overall, I think, you know, you're um, getting a good deal. And they are, you know, it's just if you're a fan and a collector, they're cool little items to have, I think. Um, but that was everything. Again, here's a look at the pop. And um, if you would like, please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram if you'd like. And thank you for watching and hope to see you in another unboxing video.